YouTube crew, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. Now, today we're talking about how to win more, specifically how to always win end games. There are a few things worse than playing an entire game, getting to that final circle only to finish second. So today I'm giving you two tips that will allow you to pull off the dub more often. Whether your whole squad is alive or it's just you and you gotta find a way to clutch up for your team. I have over a thousand wins on Reaper, so I know that these two tips work, and I want to show you exactly how they work by breaking down some end games after I share the two tips. Let's get into it. Now, I talk about this all the time on stream, but there are two crucial questions that you need to ask yourself during every single end game if you want to win more. The first is going to be where is the power position? This is generally high ground, but not always. The second question is, where is your cover? This is the most important question to ask yourself. And these two questions will help you determine whether you need to rotate late or rotate early. If circle pulls towards a power position and you can get there using cover before another team, rotate early and grab power position. If circle pulls out into the open and there's no cover anywhere, rotate late and play gas if you have to. So as we break down these end games, we're really gonna be focusing on those two questions right there. Now, I know there's an execution component to this as well. You've gotta hit your shots and use movement to your advantage, but so many people lose end games simply because of bad positioning and poor rotations. Let's go ahead and jump into situation number one. So as we kick this one off here, we have three other teams alive. Circle is just starting to close in. And where is the power position? Well, the power position is on one of these three rooftops. Either this one, this one, or this one. So I'm going to go ahead and try to fight for rooftops here. Fight early. See if I can clear these rooftops. But as I do, I get shot in the back. Nova is still in. And I noticed two people up here, so I decide not to try to ego this. I don't want to go down in this situation. So I end up just jumping down. Now, as I jump down here, notice that there are people fighting above me in this little yellow building next to me. So, I'm going to go ahead and reload real quick. I don't exactly know why I popped Deddy here. I don't know what my thought process was, but I popped Deddy. I played up real quick, and I end up pushing over to the next building over, still wanting to get this high ground if I can and win these rooftops. Now, I know that once I get high ground, this building behind me is pretty much clear in terms of having people shoot me in the back. What I don't want is to be on this middle one and have pe have to potentially fight people from this way and this way. That's what I'm trying to be careful of. That's why I started on the far one and then rotated this way. That was one of the guys that was fighting. I've got two people below me to my left. Now, I can get pretty easy picks here. I can hold them out of circle, but I hear this guy right here. I get the down, and I don't need to worry about the thirst there. Now, definitely did not mean to jump down there. I wanted to stay on rooftop, still hold that high ground. I got one person kind of on my level right around the corner here. Can't really find them. Now, look where circle pulls, right? Circle pulls all the way to Nova 6. Where is the high ground? Where is the power position? The power position is going to be top Nova 6. Can I get there with cover? At first glance, you're probably like, no, he can't. Watch how I do it, because I'll tell you, I'll give it away that I do. So I'm going to go ahead and pop out this window. There's still three other teams, seven other people alive. I'm going to push into this building. I'm going to push across. I'm going to push into this building. I'm going to push right to the bathroom, through the bathroom. They're all fighting behind me. I'm going to let them fight. I don't care about them fighting. I don't need the kills at this point. I just want to win. You know, we, this wasn't exactly a heater. This was a blender game. I dropped plenty of 20s, a few 30s. Like, I don't need to drop. A, I don't need it, the kills. So I'm going to play power position. And right here, look how clear sight I, I have of everything going on. Not only do I have power position, but I also have cover. I have this rooftop. So we get one... Team wipe there. It's a 1v1v1. I see this guy coming from below. Now it's a 1v1 situation. And that's just because they have no cover. That's why I talk about rotating out in the open is dangerous. They have no cover. I just rotated early and was able to get over to this spot. Now, not totally sure of where this guy is. I know he's floating around here somewhere. I end up hearing him right over to the left in a second below the stairs. Now, why am I late rotating this? I am late rotating this because he has to rotate out in the open, right? He has to rotate onto the street here. I have high ground. So I'm going to late rotate this and just kind of hold him and wait for him. Now he's starting to push up. I turn her right there, hit my shots. Let's go ahead and jump into situation number two. So situation number two, we got a nice little 1v3 situation. And as we kick this off here, the first thing that we need to notice is that they cluster me from down below. Look, if you're in this situation, don't waste the cluster strike. It, there, I have so much cover here, and I'm not really too concerned about the cluster strike. Now, as I'm kind of waiting this out here, if you're looking to get better at Rebirth, I took my KD from a 0.72 over a 4 KD. I have over 1,000 wins. So if you are looking to get better at Rebirth, just consider hitting that subscribe button down below so my content gets pushed to you a little bit more. And I post every single day. I live stream on YouTube four days a week. So if you want 
want to know when I post and go live, make sure you turn on that notification bell as well. Now, I get circle pull here. I get a really good circle pull, and I catch this guy out in the open. Now, real quick, rewind because I don't want you to – I want you to remember this guy. Remember this guy down in the corner right here, this little one where my mouse is. Remember him right there because this is going to help me make a decision about power position. I'm in a really good spot here with really good high ground, really good power position, and really good cover, but I'm about to give it up for a better power position. So I get smoked this way. I'm immediately going to go rotate and start to play it up. Now, knowing that they are rotating from down low, where do they have to get to? They have to get to showers or cafeteria and take the catwalk, right? So I'm actually going to go rotate all the way down and try to beat them to that power position. What I don't want is to give them an opportunity to three stack again. So as I turn this corner, I read this guy like a book. This is exactly where I said he was going to be. Other two are ghosted to the left side. Now right here, I kind of get a little indecisive. I'm like, should I hold it from up top? No, I go back down, right? They have to rotate in this way or they could go to cafeteria. So, again, I have a lot of cover. I'm in a really good power position. Read that guy like a book. Last one is ghosted to my left. Now, at this point, I'm pretty sure he's above me. So, let's talk about rotating late versus rotating early. Notice where circle pull is. Circle pull is pretty far out in the open. So, I could rotate late or sorry, rotate early and try to get to that spot and hold them, but it's risky because there's not a lot of cover there, and I'm kind of giving up high ground. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and rotate late. I'm going to wait for him. It's a 1v1 situation. I have confidence that I can beat him in a gunfight, and I already hear him coughing, which means I know he's taking damage, and you're literally going to see he's a bullet, like the definition of a bullet, like true definition of a bullet here. Literally one bullet, and that's how I ultimately give up my high ground top prison to make sure that they don't stack, but I'm still in a position where I have really good positioning, really good uh, power position, and I use cover to my advantage. Let's go ahead and jump into situation number three. So some of you may have seen this already. This is the end of my 26 kill solo trio win. I've got two to my left. I know they're on rooftop at this point. I do have a gas mask, and I'm kind of in a weird spot. Now, I get really indecisive here about what I want to do. Part of me wants to go take ladder. Part of me is like, that's a little bit too late. And I do need to rotate early. I need to rotate early safely to hold them because they are top prison. And you're going to see what I end up doing. Instead of just rotating out and trying to basically beeline for cover, I'm going to go ahead and keep kind of on my current path. I'm going to play down low. I'm going to use gas mask to my advantage. Yeah, now, the I reason that I almost lose much. this, this should have been an easy win. I don't reload my AK. So I only have 21 bullets in the AK. This is exactly where I want to be, right? This is exactly what I talked about. This is a power position. They are stuck not being able to fight me, and I actually have a decent amount of cover here. So I'm going to go ahead and get the first one, but because I didn't reload my AK, I can't get the second one. And right here is where I almost lose it. Now the gas mask is off. Now I'm in a really bad spot. I got to figure out if I'm going to re I reload the AK. I go ahead and try to challenge him to the right side. I don't see anything. So I'm going to go ahead and push in here. Playing low ground. This is where like high ground isn't always an advantage. Now look, high ground is definitely beneficial. But I'm going to go ahead and push down below here. I'm going to plate up. I hear him right above me. Now I hear him on my level. I'm able to get the down. I'm able to get the thirst. Notice on the minimap, the last one's on my level, kind of straight across from me. Quickly switch guns. And we're able to get the down and thirst there. And I was super hyped at the 26 kill solo trio win there right there. But you really see how, again, playing gas mask, sometimes it's better to get to a spot early and be able to hold them out of circle and torch them or, you know, if they're coming from top prison as they're flying. Let's go into situation number four, which I still can't really believe how we won. So if you made it this far, first of all, thank you, and you are in for a good one. This has a lot of great lessons to be learned, one of which is how they choke this and really how I clutch this using those two questions. Now, we got three people on the roof. These guys. First things first is we do have Look circle pull. This is a 3v3 situation. I'm playing with randoms, and we do have circle pull. I'm going to end up just not. dropping back down. I'm going to loot up, try to see what I can find, and I'm going to fast forward through this because I end up looting kind of down here and over this way, trying to find an AR only to find absolutely nothing. Nothing. Now, I do get plates, which is a huge advantage, but I end up not getting another gun, like an A or anything, which is really tough. Now, I'm going to go ahead and push back this way and work to get high ground. Now, when I talk about high ground here and power position, this is a tough one because I really need to be hyper-focused on my cover. Reason being is we do have a good power position here in terms of circle pull, 
but they have a little bit higher ground and they have loadout guns. So they kind of do have a little bit of an advantage here, even though they're rotating. Now I have one person all the way back here that I live ping. I've got one person right here that came through the doorway. And you're going to see in a second, the other guy's actually in the little tower, in this little tower right here. So we know where all three players are. And notice he's looking straight down. So yes, we have a good position, but he has a little bit higher ground right now. Guy sees me, the Roskin sees me in the tower, so I'm going to actually go ahead and play down here. I have to give up my high ground because they know where I am. Again, no AR at this point. Let's go ahead and see where Circle pulls. Okay, Circle pulls towards Courtyard. Where's our power position? Well, our power position is going to be up the hill in Courtyard, and where's our cover? Our cover's in Courtyard. So that's where we want to try to get to. The problem is how exactly are we going to do it? Because we know that they are sitting kind of right around this area right here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and play this little jump spot to my left here back behind me in a second, which if you don't know about this jump spot, make sure you make sure you learn it. You jump on the trash can, you jump on the little light, and then you can mantle up top. It's super beneficial. You know, the, I probably could have taken the ladder, but it also gives away down. So I break that guy. Unfortunate that I'm not able to get down, and they start torching my teammates. So both of them go down. One is self-reviving, and they are really hyper-focused on that, that guy or those two guys right there. This is why I always say you have to answer these two questions because watch what happens. While they're so hyper-focused on them, I'm going to go ahead and get one down right there, and I'm going to go ahead and push off the hill. I'm going to early rotate, and now I have power position. With that right there, and my teammates, by the way, my one teammate self-revived, my other teammate's up. I now have... I now have the advantage. Now, I, I have a type 100, so I'm, like, really not in a good spot with in terms of... I have type 100 and a pistol, so, like, I'm not in a good spot ammo-wise and being able to, like, compete in terms of hitting shots, but I'm in a... Or, we'll call it TTK, right, in time to kill, but I have a massive advantage when it comes to power position. Now, it's a really good thing that I didn't drop down here. I end up getting that down, and now... Look where circle pulls. Now circle pulls all the way over to prison. So now I really have the power position. And I have a lot of cover both in courtyard and with this hill. But I only have nine bullets and a pistol. And I believe my pistol is out of shots. I have 18 shots, but it's not really anything that I can do to compete. Trying to see what I can find here. Now, right here, I know that he's not challenging me, okay? So, where's the power position now? He's back behind this wall right here. He's rotating kind of back towards this way. He's not chasing me. So, where is the power position? The power position is going to be right in this little doorway. So, I need to get there. I hear him coughing. So, as I turn the corner, be ready for him. He's right in this corner right here. And that's how we win that, even though we have absolutely... The probability of us winning that is so low. But by just thinking about where's the power position and where's the cover, I'm able to get up the hill to Courtyard, which allows us to win that game. I hope you found today's video helpful. Ask those two questions during every single endgame. I promise you, you'll start winning more. Let's get better today, and I will see you tomorrow.